So after James Cook's discovery of the eastern coast of Australia, he sailed back to the United Kingdom and published his diary. After the first fleet of 11 ships captained by Arthur Phillip arrived in Botany Bay, Aboriginal Australia was about to change forever. Imagine what it would have been like for Aboriginal people here in Australia to see these strange apparitions, these 11 monstrous ships arrive into the harbour in Botany Bay. It would have been a very, very strange thing for them. It would have been like you and I perhaps seeing an alien or something like there that. There were paintings of the first sort of contact, the first few days here, Aboriginal people dancing hand in hand with uh, Europeans that had just arrived. Now following this, the uh, next period, if you like, was littered with common misconceptions. That's only natural for a culture that had been in isolation for thousands and thousands of years. Now after the first fleet had arrived over the next 100 years or so, uh, the differences between the two cultures became more and more apparent, especially with no common language. Now the Europeans were keen to develop land for colonies and pastoralism for survival, about we as Europeans or Westerners perhaps when we buy land we own it and Aboriginal people of course are from the land where the connection to life comes from. Uh, when the first fleet started chopping down trees at uh, sacred sites it was quite upsetting for the Eora tribe. Over the next sort of hundred years or so it happened more frequently as Europeans advanced into various areas here in Australia and there's a lot of uh, stories about how uh, Aboriginal people stood up for what they believed was true, their law, and of course James Cook declared this land terra nullius, which actually means land which doesn't belong to anybody. Now because there wasn't any recognised social structure, any evidence of farming or building, this concept was deemed applicable to the Australian continent, but we now know however that the reason that there wasn't any farming of any kind or buildings by Aboriginal people is because of their spiritual connection to the land. The land provides them with everything they need to survive. Yeah.